All right, guys, hope that fan and that radio ain't too loud. You know what, just let me turn at least the fan off. I know that disturbs the videos. Hey, I started to, I forgot to start this in the beginning. Or, um, I'm changing the little radiator or pre-cooler as Thermo King calls it on my APU. And there were no videos on YouTube, uh, so I thought I'd just make one. Uh, so far, it's, it looks like a pretty simple job. First, I pulled my quarter fender off just to give me some more room. And I unbolted this whole thing, and this whole thing's gonna come out with a radiator in it. But, unhook the lines first. This line, you don't actually have to unhook because it just goes through the firewall thing there to another line to the thermostat. But I did it so I could get to the bottom line. And then you're gonna have to unhook this line from the other side of the thermostat, it goes down to the bottom of the little radiator so it can come out with it. And it's a bugger, so I would pull it out before you do the bottom one, because I've changed these two lines. So that's where we're at so far, and I'll show you it once I get it all apart. Be careful, I got some fan wires here. I don't know how much slack I got in them. In fact, I'm gonna get under there and see if there's a plug for them so I can just unplug it. I can get down there without getting too much mess. Um, oh, if I have shutoff valves on this truck, and I'll show you those, which I would recommend you do, but if you don't, you better kink something off or coolant's gonna go out everywhere because it's tapped into the cooling system of the truck. And I'll show you. It's best to put them on up here. Hold up. You see one's there. That's either, that's the feed and that's the return. Uh, so I got them shut off so no coolant will go back there, which is good to have because this little radiator sprung a leak on me yesterday and I was able to shut the water going off back there because it circulates while you're driving and you can lose, if it's a big enough, you lose all your coolant and you got big problems. So uh, I was able to just shut it off and come home. So we're gonna pull that out and go to Thermo King. These are pretty expensive. Um, I get it for like $304, uh, Thermo King one, you can get them online for a hundred bucks aftermarket. But the uh, OEM ones I found online were 350 to 400. But my, uh, my Thermo King, I get a lot of stuff there, so they, they cut me a price break. So uh, anyways, we'll get back with you in a minute. All right, hopefully you can hear it over the fan, just real quick. There is no slack or plug, so I just set the fan, there's four bolts to hold on off of there and I just kind of zip tied it up here out of the way. Now this whole unit will lift out with the uh, radiator and pre cooler in it. What's up with this, man? I wonder if something got in there somehow and chewed it up. You can see that's my leak down there. Hmm. I wonder if something got in there and the fan, I don't know. It's always something. I will right, we'll pull this out and show you. See you in a minute. All right, we got it out. You unbolt it and it comes out. And, uh, well, actually, I got it upside down, but the two bolts come in there this way. Like that. And hold it so you take those out. And then just slide the little, little radiator thing out. I'll take that hose off and run up and get a new one. Hey, if you need to do the belt on your water pumps, now's the time. This one's only a year old, but once it, boy, we talk about easy, easy access. I ought to do it, but those are kind of rusty. My luck, I'd snap one off. So we ain't gonna mess with it. If it ain't broke, we ain't fixing it. But as easy as this is, well, other than I'd lose the coolant. This part would be an easier way to get to that pulley. Because this pulley's like a wedge. As you tighten it up, it takes the slack uh, out of the belt. A lot of videos on that. Hey, in case I forget, when you put it back together, I know this from changing these little hoses. There'll be air in the system. The APU will just run and shut off. There's a bleeder valve, you gotta crack it open right here. There's a tube off of there running down. And once it's running, you wait till it spits all the air out and you get a steady stream of coolant. Then everything's bled out and then it'll run, okay? You don't do that, it'll just keep shutting off. I guess you could run the truck too and that would burp all the air out, but that's what that little valve's for. All right, off to spend money. Operator life. See you bye. 
All right, we got the new radiator. And hey, I found when I was putting it in, this housing, there's enough slottage, I guess you would call it, in those bolt holes. I think whoever did the last one did it wrong because it was touching down here. And I think that's probably that bouncing is what finally broke it. But just start the bolts and kind of, I guess you would say, hold it upside down. Like I held it like this and then tightened them down. That way, that's not touching, and it's not touching on the bottom, okay? And now all we gotta do is mount it back on there, hook up the hoses, attach the fan and the fan cover, put my quarter printer back on, and then start the APU, and I'll, uh, I'll try to show you how that bleeder works. All right, see you in a bit. All right, we got this all put back together. I haven't put the fan cover on or the quarter fender, but as you can see, we got the new radiator all bolted up in there and we're gonna start it up. Of course, I turned the water back on up under the hood. Now here's this little valve. This is the important part. If you don't know how to do this, this is just gonna start and shut off. But actually just from the water pressure, hold on, let me get my hand in there. Well, dadgummit, there we go. Okay, I'm opening the valve. So we got a nice stream there. So all the air should be out. I got my wife in there, I'm gonna have her started. If it runs and dies, actually when it starts running, I'll probably open that just to make sure there's no water, um, air in the water, like down in the pump and everything. So I'll let it squirt out a, a second and it should run. If you don't do that, it's just gonna run and shut off and throw water pressure codes. All right, sweet love, turn it on, turn it to AC. All right, let's take a second to start it up, of course. We'll let it run for a bit and check for leaks and we should be good to go. I'm back in business for another week. I'm going to crack this valve. Thank you. 